Hi everyone. So, as per a food production subject, the previous classes we discuss about for the hotel management and catering technology students, Bachelor of Culinary students, and BSc hotel management and catering technology students. We discussed about a basic fundamental of cookery, which is related to uh, their subjects. So now, in the first year, the classification of ingredients, cuts of ingredients, and methods of cooking, and the aims and objective of cooking we discussed. In the, in the second year, for the undergraduate students, uh, we have a, a quantity cooking, volume cooking, in you know, Indian cuisine. So when you're talking about Indian cuisine, Definitely, we need to know about Indian people's food habits, climate conditions, culture, tradition, race, and their food habits, and the availability of ingredients and uh, the economical status of people also. These all things are considered about our food habits and what we are eating. It's not only the five-star food where, where we go, everyone everyone will uh, can afford to eat the five-star food. It's not uh, that kind of cuisine. When you're talking about uh, Indian cuisine, 130 crores of people, and uh, we need to know the what is the exact basic cuisine, so the regional cuisines, how these cuisines are influenced. In fact, you know, we're talking about volume cooking, as per my experience, I can share a few uh, words with uh, students. In Indian cuisine, we have a lot of spices, not one or two spices, because so many, uh, the kings or so many other country, uh, the warriors came into India and they conquered India and they started ruling of India and they introduced their knowledge of cooking. They introduced their uh, spices. They introduced their food habits. They introduced their culture. They introduced their uh, the way of eating. So all these influences of Indian cuisine. So that's why in India, as per our climate conditions, we divide into a regional wise, south, east, west, north, and everywhere, what we cultivate, that what we eat, that's become a, our food habit. Talking about cuisines and cooking, so in the ancient days onwards, with the history, with our culture, even foreparents, grandmothers, four grandmothers, what they used to eat, cook the food, the passion. They add more and more spices into the food. They believe that the more spices they add into the food, the taste will be a more better. That's what the spices become a more and more in the food. In the ancient days, those spices called is Ayurveda. So that Ayurveda medicines, we used to take in a form of food. That's why the cooking is in India is not constant. It's not standardized. So we use in you know, a one curry more than 50 spices, uh, 50 ingredients. It's a hard to remember all 50 ingredients for a, cooking every time the same food, the same consistency, same color, same texture, same taste, same appearance. It's not possible. And apart from that, the awareness of ingredients, the awareness of food, the awareness of cooking methods, we are very, uh, very, uh, very low. So that means what we learn in a French cuisine the previous uh, year. So that is only uh, one uh, limited methods of cooking, limited ingredients, limited uh, the ap ap uh, applications of uh, cooking. And these all things will be applicable. But in India, it's not limited. We have so many sources and every person, every uh, out uh, street food, every uh, home food, it changes the recipes. 
only where we go to the hotels and restaurants that five gravies basic gravies based on we make the dishes and we serve that is known as a, we are talking about indian cuisine but that is not a real indian cuisine every household every uh, the person and the, what they cultivate we have a separate food habits through that food habits we incorporate our ingredients or in a, a cooking methods and we eat the food so before we start indian cuisine that's what i believe in every state or every region or every place their food habits are entirely different you cannot compare and apart from that cooking is a passion okay so always try to doing some experiments on the cooking by adding new ingredients by getting the new spices by by adding for a new herbs and it's 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 constantly doing the experiment in the cooking that's why the cooking is not constant or standardized of recipes so history types of cuisine ingredients methods these are influences about definitely indian cuisine wherever you go whether it's a south indian or north indian east indian or west indian so according to their uh, style or uh, their skill and their the view their idea they cook the food that's it in india is a large country there is a mixture of different cultures different languages uh, more than 340 languages 844 uh, dialects language so where you can remember each and every language if you want to be become a one constant preparation you should have one common name when you have a 347 languages how how how, how you going to learn a 347 languages and how you going to prepare the dish so that's what the little complicate uh, com uh, complication is there in a preparation of indian cuisine religion so many religions are there in india every re religion they have their own customs their their, their own uh, the tradition their own culture their own system of cooking food they own they have what their own system of eating of the food so with according to the religion also it is very uh, huge in india race so many races are incorporated That, that's why india is a biodiversity country so so many people came and they start raising races there in india tradition so when their entire rest of world people came to uh, india and they ruled they conquered and they ruled definitely their traditions and their cultures their languages their habits their food their ingredients their preparations everything is spread in india as well caste so in india itself there is a huge categories category of according to the their um, way of work according to their economical status econo the, the the according to their uh, the living style all together we classify the people so that's what the caste also it is a different the higher class low class middle class yeah. so the according to the caste also it is divide the people so according to their caste they according to their um, uh, the work they they eat food that's become a kind of a uh, the food habits to those kind of caste people also all this affect the general eating practices in india so all this culture language religion race tradition caste these all things are influence the their food habits in a uh, india and uh, modern indian cuisine so today indian cuisine has become a very complicated with many spices masalas uh, marinations type of cooking uh, different stages of uh, cooking uh, methods just now i told you it is not modern cuisine whether it's ancient cuisine ancient cuisine these people definitely they don't have any awareness they have only some medicinal value spices they used to take and they put it in put it in the cooking and they 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 used to eat that's become a ayurveda so automatically some of what we eat our body also accept and our body also it will react on according to those spices 
so that's what our cells and that uh, the blood everything is uh, made up made up of, of those food those food habits so now uh, different stages uh, why it's become a complicated lot of spices it is not one or two because the rest of world people also came britishers french dutch uh, the uh, mogulais and the arabs and the, some of greeks portuguese all these people came to india and they ruled and they introduced their their way of uh, the ruling and they 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 introduced their way of eating so that's also automatically spread entire the country so because in the ancient days the people not that much of civilized so though when these these people came and they started of uh, introducing their civilization we automatically adapted so we follow those kind of uh, the habits so that's why india is a very uh, complicated of uh, preparations it's not a one preparation and we have uh, uh, so many uh, methods so many recipes so many ingredients so indian culinary history origin of indian cuisine and ancient indian civilization of india indian culinary influence by indian conquests so indian civilization also it is ancient civilization we are not that much of aware when you talking about modern cuisine a modern uh, civilization and ancient civilization definitely there will be a huge gap in this time duration we cannot be uh, remember or we cannot be that basis we can be for, uh, carry forward but the uh, civilization when it's a uh, changes the automatically awareness is increased when the awareness is increased so automatically food habits are changed when the food habits are changed the culinary revolution came into the cooking so harappa and mohenjodaro so those people discovered the ayurveda uh, harappa and mohenjodaro they discovered what we eat the spices the herbs they used to call as a medicines ayurveda medicines so that when you ayurveda you taken you are going to be healthier that's what they believe and they add but in our ancient days nobody knows that is scientifically it's not proved but it when it is added into the food at least it'll affect to the body and it will they give the good result to the body that's why it's become a medicine so that's why in ayurveda uh, discovered as ayurveda in harappa and mohenjodaro the dynasty or period forced to move south indian in a invasion in invasion of aryans so they forced to move into the south side developed a new cuisine and food culture so they started when they traveled to south and they started the developed and the new cuisines and the food culture and food culture means it's a cultivation uh, they doing the farming and cultivation and growing up the seeds cereals pulses legumes all these things a uh, practiced the methods of agriculture of grains they started cult cultivating they started agriculture and the whatever they uh, do the cultivation they used to eat that food the south staple food will be rice so they started with the rice because of that is also some of influence of some of the people who came to india and the rule the uh, the state settled and the start the ruling of india added more ingredients found in the south indian daily food habits so added a more ingredients in a south indian food preparations so that's why you just take a one simple uh, the example so making of the sambar powder there is a 36 ingredients required so 36 ingredients of spices will be added in the sambar powder so that's what the more spices started cooking in in the cooking aryans came from the europe and asia a minor a pushed uh, inhabit inhabitants of harappa and mohenjodaro to south and further developed the ideas of ayurveda further developed they started developing of the ayurveda the food is a ayurveda food is a ayurveda they are considered and they used to take so that's why the people are protected from the diseases very important symbol satvik meaning may god prevail okay satvik food that is uh, what in a sanskrit 
we believe that is satvik is a vegetarian sad soft food added food culture they brought with them food, that kind of food culture they brought it to people you eat satvik food that will be a good it will be a control everything so that's what it started satvik food and the indian uh, culinary influence by the indian conquest some of as i said it is a rest of world people also came to india and they started ruling india and conquered india and they started influencing of their uh, culture and their uh, tradition and their food and their ingredients their methods and everything so what are those which are, what are those we will see now the aryans great hindu emperor uh, concentrated on developing of mind body and spirit aryans what they start they started satvik food the vegetarian food and uh, those people will believe that your mind your soul your spirit will be calm your uh, um peaceful so that kind of food they introduce mostly vegetarian mongolians hot pot cooking the mongolians when it is a cold areas they they started cooking and they introduced and the, the spread cooking of hot pot cooking so the stews and persians persians mogal rules rich food with with the dry fruit and the nuts kebabs biryani tandoori and naan so what now we are reading the menus ordering in the restaurants ordering in the five star hotels dampuk cuisine dampuk uh, a uh, biryani kachchi gosht ki biryani or your uh, dhamka chicken uh, the uh, the uh, uh, methi murg or uh, moghlai ka chicken or uh, uh, the uh, navratan kurma or dhamma alu these kind of rich preparations who introduce the moguls persians they introduce so that's why their food is very rich and where they use in a cooking uh, nuts and uh, the ghee and a uh, lot of butter and uh, the very saffron of rich ingredients they use and the nutrition value will be very high and that nutrition values are going to be implemented of human body and structure of uh, the body of uh, human uh, the uh, people were in india so they 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 introduce that's why when the persians came they started their cooking and now still now we love to eat this kind of food as well greeks Aleg Aleg alexander alexander the great he is also came to india and he is also conquered and he is the greek people also they spread little uh, their culture they brought some spices they brought some uh, methods and they started chinese still fried and sweet taste of food the chinese people from the those area gautam buddha and this uh, the this kind of uh, culture when it is came to india they started their stir fry food and uh, sweet taste food to india arabs uh, the traders hot uh, marinations and barbecues arabs arabs when they they came to india and they started uh, uh, doing the business they introduced their marination their spices their uh, uh, the kebabs and everything portuguese the portuguese vindalu when the portuguese people came to india and they start uh, ruling uh, through the coastal areas they introduced their spices uh, they, they they introduced their tomatoes they introduced uh, their uh, vindalu they introduced uh, uh, the potatoes okay these kind of ingredients they introduced british when the british came they started the ruling more than 400 years then automatically all the uh, habits and everything is become very popular and uh, tomato ketchup tea fish and chips and the roast and grills these all methods started in india and one of the greatest influence of indian cuisine is occurred in a second century bc the powerful and uh, uh, turn uh, uh, ben benevolent emperor ashoka of that time popularized a vegetarian cuisine emperor ashoka when he started ruling that time the vegetarian food is introduced because the uh, high himsa he, he don't like to kill the people so that's why he started vegetarian cooking the two other 
uh, individuals that help make a Indian vegetarians are Mahavir Jain and Gautam Buddha. These are the two peoples are influenced by the vegetarian food in India. So the Indian most the the, the dominated uh, food is vegetarian only. Types of Indian regional cuisines. So we have, as I said, it's a, India is a uh, split into uh, North India, South India, East Indian, and Northeast India and West Indian. So West India. So these are the regions we split, and according to their regions, according to their influences of spices in uh, cultivation, people food habits and cooking methods and the ingredients, economical status, they start their cooking, their, their food habits. We will discuss that more next video and one by one, one region by one region. Some of the popular Indian dishes, tandoori, kadai, curry, biryani, mogulai, korma, dosa, and uh, these are the some of the popular dishes. Apart from this, thousands and thousands variety dishes are there in India. It's not one, it's not 10, it's not a hundred, thousands and thousands. Every individual for at home or street food or any business is the scientist of your uh, food. Okay, they are all constantly doing the experiments on ingredients. They are creating new new recipes. There is no standard. The spices and herbs raw and powdered. Okay, the basic ingredients: spices, herbs, raw powders, milk, cream, and uh, sugar, uh, root vegetables, onion, potato, and uh, marinations, curd, spices, lemons, dry fruits, nuts, raisins, oil, or, uh, coconut oil, ghee, essence, all these some of ingredients, basic ingredients will be used. Apart from that, your chili powder, turmeric, coriander powder, cumin powder, and uh, some of your garam masala. Without garam masala, there is no Indian food. Of course, we have in the South Indian uh, uh, without garam masala, but mostly non-vegetarian, they definitely add garam masala. Summary, okay. The Indian cuisine is a vast and different from, from a place to and a person to person. It is said that same dish in India changes every 20 kilometers. The food itself have a huge medicinal value and ingredients used and also used in Ayurvedic medicines. It's not only the 20 kilometers, but one person to another person in the same family, one person, when we cook the uh, one type of curry or one type of dish, the second person cannot cook the same dish. The person to person, it will changes. One place to other place, your, your chicken curry is a, a one way in a, a Hyderabad, uh, just 10, 15 kilometers when you travel and you try their chicken curry, that will be different. So every 20 kilometers or some areas, one person to persons, your recipes will be changes. It's not constant. You know, five star hotels, they make same uh, uh, the standard recipes because of the basic gravy is already prepared and the chefs will be follow stand some of uh, uh, limited uh, recipes and that uh, limited recipes will be applied. Even five star hotels also, when the cook change, when chef change, when uh, uh, the person change, the entirely, the standard recipes will be there, but he is follow his own way. So that's what the constant recipe cannot be the same. In a five star hotel, it's not for the only particular eating of the food, it's a status of the food of eating. Okay, uh, of course, as we said, it's a, uh, your uh, Indian food is a Ayurveda, Ayurvedic. It contains some medical, uh, med medicine values. So that's why in Indian culture, apart from that, in Indian culture, we have Hindu culture, vegetarian, uh, pilgrim, uh, pilgrimage food, okay? The temple food is a very popular in South India. So steam food without any oil, without any masalas, without any a uh, lot of uh, non-vegetarian, the simple methods will be followed. For example, in South India, when you take it, it's a pongal and uh, pulihora and uh, the curd rice and uh, steamed idli, steamed appam and uh, puriyals, kutus, rasam, sambar. These are light food. 
because why they use in india light food you know as a vegetarian they suggested uh, that uh, jain people and uh, the ashoka uh, the uh, the gautam buddha so because our climate conditions are different our weather is a uh, different our uh, the way of uh, living style is different our uh, the cultivation is different our farms are different that's why that indian food vegetarian also very useful to indian people indian culture indian food habits indian ayurveda medicines value medical medicines values so that's why those people introduce focus on more vegetarian in india but apart from that when this other country people came to india and they started ruling they started their own food like a kebabs uh, tandoori's tandoori roti and uh, the meat kheema and uh, chops roast grill stews okay and bread and uh, fish and deep fried fish and chips shallow fried uh, the fish and the f- fish fries so many varieties have changed even french people also when they came they start introduced their the way of cooking the uh, so this is about uh, introduction about indian cuisine but uh, when you are talking about next video we will talk about each region south region east region west region and north and northeast regions what kind of food they eat what type of food they eat what are the spices uh, popular in those country those states so we will discuss more in depth in a sec- uh, next video uh, keep watching and uh, this is the basic introduction about indian cuisine so um, so there is a lot of changes will be there but you know as per my knowledge i share my some of views